Hey there, how's it going? Well, on my last video, I had a bit of commentary, and someone replied to that commentary in a comment, and they said something that kind of astounded me. This is from someone whom I've had a number of discussions with before, and they're usually very thoughtful, but I think in this case, they weren't really thinking things through very much. And that's okay, it happens. And if you see their comment, don't don't leave a bunch of negative stuff to them, because I, I don't know if they were... I, I don't think they were me meaning... I don't think they had any bad intentions. I just don't think they were thinking about it all the way through. And since this was on my mind and they hadn't replied back yet, um, I wanted to make a video. So they were saying that if someone can explain a reason why they did something or why they do something, that it's valid. And that the only thing that would make something not valid is if they can't explain why they do something. And I'm just like, well, that's that's kind of weird. I mean... There are plenty of people who do things who don't know why they do them. Sometimes it's habit. Sometimes it's just it's just something they ended up learning to do. But they may not have a, a very good reason as to why they do it. So does that mean that it's not valid, it's not good that they do it? That's just kind of weird. And then there's the other side of the coin where there are people who do terrible things and they can give long, drawn-out explanations for it, but it's still a terrible thing. I mean, take serial killers, for instance. Sometimes they have some long, drawn-out explanations as to why they've done what they've done. How about people who bomb abortion clinics? Uh, they try to claim that the reason why they bomb the abortion clinic is because they want to save thousands of unborn children, right? Does that make it valid? It just doesn't it just doesn't fly with me this this sort of argumentation just doesn't fly with me i'm sorry i don't think they were thinking it very well through now there's a part of the comment another section of the comment the second part of the comment that i partially had agreed with they were saying that they think you know this is the first part i disagree with but the second part i agree with they were saying that the whole social distancing thing is bs now that i i disagree with the part I agree with is when he said, well, we're social creatures and this will be bad for people's mental health. Well, I agree. Doing the social distancing thing will be hard on people's mental health and mental health is important. But right now we don't really have much of another choice. There isn't a vaccine right now. And even when they figure out a vaccine, it's going to take a long time to be available everywhere to where it, it can really start taking care of the problem. So for quite a while, we're going to have to do social distancing. And I'd rather people do it on their own accord than have the government step in to tell people uh, that, uh, you know, uh, government enforced quarantine or a form of martial law. Yeah, I'd rather not see that. I'd rather people do it on their own accord. Now, I'm seeing some articles and I saw a video that really kind of depressed me, showing that there's a lot of young people, I think this was, uh, the, the video I saw was, I believe, in Florida, where a bunch of young people are like, well, if I get corona, I get corona, so what? And they're basically saying they don't want to give up party culture. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Party culture is more important than, than, the, than the deaths of a bunch of people? Just kind of sickened me. But, you know, seeing that makes me go, okay, well, you know, in places like that, maybe the government will have to step in. Now, as I said in another video, I, I don't think that's a good thing if the government steps in. There's, there's going to be people that do the whole boogaloo thing, right? People take arms, take up arms against the government. But I'm afraid it might become avail uh, available, uh, necessary uh, in the future. Um, again, I don't want to see it, but... If people are going to be that stubborn about party culture, I mean, damn. Damn! Now, I mean, no matter what we do, no matter what we do, this whole situation is, is bad for people's mental health. You know? Um, and this situation is going to probably get kind of ugly. There's a lot of people that are stocking up on ammunition and weapons to defend their homes, to defend their property. 
because there's going to be a lot of people who are out of work, a lot of people who are desperate, and they're going to want supplies. And if they can't get them one way, they'll get them another way. So if things are going to get ugly here in the future, but uh, man, again, I'd, I'd rather not see the government force people to quarantine. I'd rather not see that. But who knows? Who knows what's really coming up? Crossing fingers, right? 